today at a CETO event where we're going to paint over graffiti in a wildlife tunnel that goes underneath the 118 freeway. Come join us. I know. What a beautiful view. It has nothing to do with being out of breath or our heart rate. It's no, just fabulous. <laughs> so Mark, can you give me your geocaching name and just tell us what we did here today? What did we do? Oh, <laughs> uh, Mark, going hiking is my geocaching name. We went up with the geocaching group as well as the CB Trailblazers to paint the corridor and pick up trash. Very good. First time that you've organized this? Uh, tell me about the history of this. <laughs> Actually, I didn't start it. Uh, Blue Turkey, at the age of 14, dreamed this up, and this is the ninth time now. He couldn't be here today. And this, there's a special attachment today to this. Uh, can you tell me about it? We, we lost Mike, Mike Howard, uh, a pillar in our geocaching community, as well as uh, our work party chair in the Senior Trailblazers. Uh, he died as a hero saving his wife. And this is a bit of a memorial to him. And it's uh, some time to spend some, some good time together and think about the memories behind it all. Yeah. What are you doing here today? I'm painting over the graffiti in the wildlife court. Apparently this was painted over by somebody else two weeks ago. The amount of graffiti up here is what accumulates in only two weeks. So Sharon, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm painting over um, some graffiti. And this is not artistic graffiti, so you have like no I problem. I have no problem with this, <laughs> yes. There was some beautiful uh, artwork in years past that I was very sad to paint over, but not this. Not this. <laughs> All right, good job. Thank you. And Linda, what's your geocaching name? And what's the significance of coming here to the corridor today? LCAT, and the significance is to help give back to the outdoor community that I like to hike in and play in and let my dog chase lizards in. <laughs> Also to uh, get together with fun geocachers. Very good. Well, it's, it looks like it's going to be a wonderful day here. Looks like it's going to be a short day, <laughs> which is good. It's going to be hot. So everybody's it's painting. What do you, what's your uh, geocaching name? What are you doing here today? Mad Max, and I'm sit eventing Corganville Pass Through Hummingbird Trail. All right. Big dragon. <laughs> Excellent. So, so a lot of people are painting, but there's still a lot of trash yeah, to be picked up. Yeah, it's not as bad as normal, but pretty good. Hello, hello. So give me your geocaching name and tell me what you're doing here today. I don't have a geocaching name because it's my first time, but my name is Jolie. Well, Jolie, yeah, welcome. Garbage. Actually, I've gone searching with Bart before. We've done the easiest one and one of the hardest ones <laughs> in a cave. So, oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. So do you like it? I do. Good. I do. What's yeah. interesting of geocaching for a first time geocacher? Well, the first time I really did one was through a cave and we had to find our way through the cave to find what we were looking for. So that was pretty neat. Um, going in there was really tight spaces, so going into area that a lot of people do go into, so that was kind of fun. Chuck, what you doing here today? Done. Done. <laughs> There wasn't as much graffiti as there normally is. Usually the tunnel is completely full of graffiti and even on the ground. But somebody must have recently come up and painted. They ran out of paint. And yeah, maybe they ran out of paint. So we still got some trash to pick up. So get back to work. Get back to Make work. Make it a shorter day. <laughs> What's your geocaching name? And uh, tell, me, tell me what the significance of this event is for you. Ultimate Frisbee is my geocaching name. And today we're dedicating this event to uh, our dear friend Mike, and we miss him so much. And from the bottom of my heart, my God, we miss you terribly. <laughs> and that, and that's geocaching name, Lightning Star. And absolutely, yeah. we miss him yeah. incredibly. He was a yeah. tremendous part of this whole organization, and really had a love for this park and this project. Yeah. And here we are, uh, not very long, and, and we're done already. 
So in addition to the painting over the graffiti, we got a lot of trash. And place of death, it's geo coordinates. Because he was on the river, he wasn't at a place. Yeah. And Carolyn, my make-believe daughter who came to visit from New Zealand, said, he made himself into a friggin' geocache. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's got the coordinates. They had to look for him for seven days. They looked for him by helicopter, by land, zodiac boats for two days, diving, er, every possible means, and they didn't find him for seven days. He was the ultimate terrain, the <laughs> ultimate difficulty, and so he's a geocache. And so if you think of it that way, that's, and you know what, there's been, so many incredible things happening and I, you know people look at me are you sure you're okay or you know no I'm okay because he died a hero yeah. on the Grand Canyon Definitely just do. what do you you know and remember we had an extra nine months because nine months ago he had that heart yeah. attack that he would have died if he had gone to the Grand Canyon which he was supposed yes. to go with Ken and Doug they were gonna hike and he did a practice hike wearing the pack they did it to Sycamore Canyon he got a blister on his foot. The blister prevented him from going on that trip. The doctor said you would have died. So oh, Carolyn, who said the geocache analogy, she also said, hey, I can just see his muses going, okay, this year, you know, we cut him some slack. He's gonna go, he's gonna go this year. You know, he's done too many crazy things. Yeah. And, but he's gonna go at Phantom Ranch where they were gonna go hiking. That's where he drowned, was near Phantom Ranch. Mm. So some of the muses said, no, let's give him another nine months. You know, he deserves another nine months. Okay, but, as long as he goes at Phantom Ranch, because that's where he's supposed to go. So, wow. I know. So, I've just had so many wonderful things from, so many wonderful things that just each day I hear, if I just hear one thing that gets me to seeing, you know, I, I feel like I'm on this balance of joy, because he saved my life, because I died too, and sorrow, joy and sorrow, you know, and he, you know, what, I, what can I say? You know him, you know him. You know, I don't have to say anything. It's always been a struggle to try to do work and get people to actually like to do trail work. Mike was one of those rare people who, it was in his blood, he, he had to work on trails. So here, here's the good news. One other time in Trailblazer history, a Trailblazer has been around since 1988, have they done a memorial bench? And it was one of our own, uh, John Downey, I don't know if anybody knew it, has been gone a long time. Uh, this year, was, was a special year because Park and Rex does not do memorials. That is not what they do. They sort of have an internal unwritten policy. We don't do memorials. But our, our park liaison, Jeannie, said he was one of ours. We have to do it. And so she went to the powers of B and talked to a few people and said, you go through all the paperwork and we'll do it. So what we're going to do is something similar to what you see up on the Chumash Trail. Boy Scouts had a project some time ago where they put in three benches. And Chumash is one of those places where you can't drive a truck up, so you're not gonna you're, you're not gonna put in a substantial big cement bench like they did at Mount McCoy for John Downey. But we can as a group carry up everything we need to build it in place. Build it from scratch, put in the cement, the water, the whole thing. It's going to be on Hummingbird Trail. Jeannie's got coordinates for me. Here, Jeannie, cool. here, here Cherry, sorry. <laughs> Cherry has okay. coordinates for me. And so we're going to have another event where we're going to build the bench. John That's Sable great. did the research on the bench. Uh, Jeannie at Park and Rex is, uh, is taking care of uh, all the necessary paperwork. And now Sherry and Jeannie are going to work together on the plaque. On the bench. We miss you, Mike! We miss you. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Oh, okay.